Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Matt. Today we're sipping on some Royal Salute 21 year old. Mm. Don't you forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Matt, do you have more to tell me about this good looking bottle? Good looking box. And you know how much how I feel about good looking bottles and boxes. So this is the 21 year Royal Salute made by Chivas Brothers. They don't put the Shiva's name on it because they wanted to make it, you know, special and elegant. It, also, this is the 2020 version with these cool Chinese symbols on it and dragons, and I think it's it's pretty unique, pretty box. All right, so let's talk about what this is. You know, of course, uh, Queen Elizabeth II just died. This was actually made in 1953 for her coronation, so good for her. All right, and it was also the 21 years because it's the Royal Salute, which, of course, you know, usually like, not a traditional military thing would be guns, but in this case, since it's a, uh, you know, a queen, they use artillery or cannons and fire them off the London Bridge. So it's pretty cool. Oh, the, sorry, the Tower of London. London Bridge doesn't even exist it's in Arizona now. Anyway, so that's the famous 21 gun salute, which is why they chose this. This goes up to a 62 year version, which we'll never afford because it's like $50,000. But cool. Is anybody that has to give us a sample? That'd be great. So, you know. Anyway, so yeah, so they made it in this really awesome flagon, which was made uh, currently by this company, uh, famous artist in Wade, sculpted in Cornish clay from the jurassic period and it's naturally air dried and finished with a double layer so that it protects the precious contents of this so like i said they had to make this a thing for her coronation you know all these special things so 21 years of course a pretty special place to start to begin because this is the beginning lot no other scotch that i'm aware of starts at 21 years the base product that's pretty ridiculous so they call this the king of whiskeys for this very reason they're stored all over, of course, Scotland. This is all the, you know, Pernod Ricard, obviously, owns Chivas and all that fun stuff. So they have all that good things going on for them. Uh, the original bottle was green, had the Royal Coat of Arms, actually was uh, official from the Buckingham Palace. Which is, that's pretty cool. They were able to get that on there. But by 1960, that was uh, replaced, or sorry, 1959, was replaced by the Chivas Brothers Coat of Arms instead. They had Robert the Bruce on it, which was you know, still pretty cool because as a Scotsman, obviously very important to history last time I checked. Uh, and of course, this has a Gaelic motto with fidelity, stability since 1801. And then by 1960, you could get blue as another choice because it started with green. And then by 1984, you could also now get red, green, uh, brown, and blue. And then in 2003, that's not cool enough. Let's make the colors even more a little fancy. And now we'll change them to a royal name. So it's sapphire and ruby <coughs> and emerald. I guess the brown one they didn't come and come with the color for, so brown still. But whatever, so it's pretty funny. I don't uh, know that I want to order the brown edition. Of really yeah, it doesn't sound really edition. fun. I want the brown one. Not so much. I want the poop emoji one. No, I'm good. So I'm good on that. So it is whatever. Uh, like I said, in 2014, the Chivas logo was then replaced with the Royal Lion that you guys can see in there. So this is the Royal Salute. So I think will make me bigger. So that lion's now their only logo they currently are using is this one, which is a really cool lion. That I really think that's a unique symbol. So they took off the Chivas and just says Royal Salute now. So like if you go on their website, they barely even acknowledge that Chivas exists, even though they're made by Chivas and owned by Chivas and all that good fun stuff. But it is what it is. These did also come with a velvet pouch that was from India, but un unfortunately they got rid of those in 2020. So it is what it is. Uh, they had the 2021 as a polo edition, which is different places they played polo because polo is a sport of kings. So they have all these different polo editions all over the world. We don't have any of them, but they're, they're not like crazy expensive, just they're hard to find. Gonna make very many bottles of them. The other thing is, we're lucky this is a 2020 edition because this is still porcelain. So apparently, this year they're going to a glass one instead, which that kind of sucks considering you know it's a $200 bottle to go to that. Now, something like this, they go crazy expensive, but hey, you know, it is what it is. All right, so what is this version? This is the important you really care about. So, this is 40%. Mm, it is what it is. Uh, like I said, it's the Chinese symbols on here, which is the celebration of the new year. This has the dragon and the lucky knot work, which apparently used to bring your faith for your family, health, and prosperity in the coming year. And this is blue, uh, like the sapphire of the jewel of the Imperial State Crown, and the different whiskeys that are in this that they don't name all of them, but most of this is Struth Isla, which of course is the base for Chivas, which is also the oldest space site working distillers since about 1786, which we actually need to review Struth Isla, but we'll get to that point. I do have one of those somewhere around here. It also has Altavane, Brevale, Longmorn. Uh, of course, obviously, Struth Isla is the base, and Tor more than several other ones that they don't name. So that's what's in here. So, like I said, everything has to be 21 year old. It's a blended, so it's got grain and malt. I'm sure this is mostly malt because it better be for what it is in the price. <laughs> no. All right, let's see what we think of this. Well, from things I've created at home, you can really blend away a lot of uh, corn and rye. 
yes. uh, using the right malts. So correct. I would there, agree are, there are some blends that I'm like, oh yeah, that's definitely malt heavy. But then I make a blend at home and I'm like, oh wow, well I know that was corn heavy. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, because this is only that's only been made by five different people, and Sandy Hysup is the current uh, blender for Royal Salute. So that's pretty uh, pretty awesome. There's only been five guys that ever made this whiskey. But yeah, I like to get some of the special editions. Of the th you, apparently, there's a peated version that's a 21 year, which I'd love to find, but apparently, it's really hard to find. That'd be yeah, fun. The, the the nose doesn't have any peat on it. It's just very uh, no. cereal grain, very fruit forward. Uh, yeah, a also lot of peaches and pear. I got a lot of lemon lime, sea yeah, salt, caramel. Citrus. I'm getting like a grapefruit rind. Mm -hmm. It has a little brine to it. Like um, <clears throat> it's also got um, like squirt soda. Uh, milk chocolate, a little bit of gingerbread, some nice baking spices, and even like a little uh, oat, uh, Akuna honey, leather, um, dusty old library books, little yeah. sand wood, a little incense. Reminds me of an antique shop. Just kind yeah. Of yeah, you can definitely tell there's older whiskeys in here for sure. And there's obviously 21 being the base. There's certainly older ones just based on the nose. No, I like it. I like the way that smells. That was very nice. Feels, there's a red apple in there. Yeah, yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. It's like red apple that changes to that grapefruit note. Uh-huh. A little bit of tangerines. It's very nice and complex. What else is that? Um, oh, there's another fruit there. What is my price point before I take a sip? You said around 200? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honeydew, a little bit of cantaloupe. For a 21-year-old whiskey, that ain't that ain't horrible. No, it's not bad at all. I, I can't complain from that standpoint. Yeah. And I love the distillers that are in this. So, yeah, I'm excited to try this. All right. Very nice. I mean, the forty percent does come out a little it on the does. thinner side, but, but the finish is nice. Oh, sir, there's an Very earthiness nice. to this. I'm not, I'm I'm going to kind of put with the Longmorn. Um, yeah, you're right. A, uh, it's not quite mushroom fungal, but it's definitely dried forest floor. I'd agree with that. We should do a project and get all these and see if we can make our own version of this. I think that'd be a fun project. I think we have. Pretty sure I have all those. I think we could make one. I think that'd be that'd be a fun project for us for one night. Is we create Royal Salute. I think that'd be a that good could video. be a fun Monday live stream. Yeah, if you guys like that, let us know in the comments. You think that'd be fun to I'm recreate some expensive ways. whiskeys? I like that plan. All right, so let's actually give them some notes. We could we could do that with like Johnny Walker Blue too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The hard part with some of those is they got some clothes distillers. It would be a total pain to remake some of those. Yeah, not the Ghost and Rare. Just the normal. No, those would be impossible. <laughs> I don't have any of those whiskeys. Oh. Oh, that's good, though. Yeah, a lot of uh, malt. Obviously, very heavy on the malt. There's very little grain. I was just about to say, it's, it's very cereal forward on the second mm -hmm. sip. Less of the fruit, more of the dried granola, a little bit more of the leather, a little bit more of the tannin showed up for me on the second sip. Yeah, it's got a lot of nice milk chocolate. Same, that little, little lemon lime in there. Now, this does have a wisp of smoke for me on the palate that's not on the nose. Um, it's like it's not heavy, but it's it is there. No, it, and and I don't know that I would call it smoke. To me, it's just more down that that forest floor fungal that I often associate with some sorts of peated whiskeys. Yeah, it's that like put out bonfire that was put out like a day ago type of smoke for me. Yeah, yeah, it's got that. Yeah, it's definitely that wet forest floor there, certainly with some mm -hmm. sea salt, also like of clove and leather, tobacco. Uh, a little black pepper, and it's got like this little bit of seaweed hint to it. It does definitely have that mushroom earthiness, walnut, toffee. And the finish there is like a little bit of like blueberries and raspberries and wet wood. I don't know. I, I think it's really good. The finish to me is a little bit short. Mm -hmm. The flavors are still on my tongue, don't get me wrong. It is short. But the initial finish is, is rather short, and it you just kind of cold. drops. Uh, quite a bit yeah but it's you're not still long. left with quite a bit of cling you're still left with quite mm -hmm. a bit still oil clung to your palate 
But yeah, I can imagine this would pair well with a cigar. Yeah, I would imagine so. You're going to drop some water in there, see what this does. Or I was thinking about it, but I have to go over there to get my water. So we're going to take my gallon's almost completely gone. <laughs> like Don't you drink every day? Water. You drink a gallon of water a day? Uh, about half a gallon a day. A I want, oh, I'm shit. trying to get to a gallon a day, but oh, right now I'm about, I, I drink about one of these every other day. I just have to piss all day long. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> has to, what goes in must come out. I uh, I used to take really long road trips with my dad, and he hated stopping. So yeah, uh, I have a pretty solid bladder. We're good. That's a plus. More fruit comes out on the nose. Okay. It's more of those peaches and pears and pineapple. Oh, nice! Sounds like fun. A little bit of that grapefruit still, but the the pineapple kind of jumped out, which is weird because I didn't list pineapple the first time. Yeah, interesting. Hmm, okay, so this might be fun over a cube then and see how it changes over time. Mm. This might probably be a fun one to do that with. So more of that to what, what you called smoke actually mm. shows up now on the palate with the drop of water. Interesting. Um, I'm getting less of the mushroom fungal. I'm getting more of the smoke from, you know, like you said, like a bonfire, like a mile and a half yeah. away, but you're just kind of getting a whiff of every once in a while. That's that's kind of clung to the palate. So to me, a drop of water is is where I would go with this one. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, I would be fascinated. And actually, Jason Coates sent us a 1970s version of this a sample. So at some point, we'll review that one as well, which I'm very much looking forward to trying that yeah. and comparing it to this one. So Absolutely. that'll be a fun uh, comparison, certainly. So. Yeah, because like almost guaranteed the distiller changed on that one. Oh, uh, yeah. And um, I bet it's a lot more peaty too, just because everybody used peat in the seventies. Well, and which means anything that's in there that's twenty one years old means it's got to be from, you know, the fifties when it was distilled. Right. So nice. Yeah, which is that's really really cool. cool. Yeah, mm. that'll be a fun little trip through time. Absolutely. One All of the right, great well, thing about drinking these old whiskeys is putting yourself in the place of where was I when, you know, number one, the grain was being grown, uh, you know, the yeah. made, it got put into a cask. And then, you know, where mm -hmm. am I now, now that I'm sipping on it? I mean, you know, if the youngest stuff in here is one of was in college and, and then, uh, you know, high school, probably with some of this older stuff's in here. So I've been sitting around for a long time. But yeah, this is really nice. I like that a lot. Um, I think it's worth it for the money. It's cool. Um, like I said, not that we particularly give a shit in this country about the queen, but you know, Hey, it's whatever, but she died. So that's be a good one to review since we hadn't reviewed it yet for her. So good job on that. So like I said, not giving a shit since 1776, but Hey, good for us. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Click that notification bell. We're also live every Monday night where you can see things that were edited out. Like what it just happened mm -hmm. until next time. Keep on crusading for better whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I yes. can't even put that one in the end, can I? <laughs> <laughs>